Roberto, um, Napoli have a very strong home record. They've not been beaten here in Europe since '94. Uh, is, is this a must-win game for Manchester City? And also, how much have you improved since the first game between the two teams at the start of the Champions League? I think that, that both teams are improved a lot uh, from the first uh, from the first game in Champions League. Uh, Napoli at home is a very strong team. They have beaten for a long time, and every time they play in the night, they beat uh, every teams. For this, I think that tomorrow for us will be a very hard game, but uh, we know that we can we can do everything if we if we play very well at football. This is important for us tomorrow to play football very well. Do you have to win though? We try. We want to try. <laughs> Would it give you some satisfaction to show Italy that you can go all the way to a semi-final or beyond in the Champions League, which eluded you when you were a club manager here? I think that it's important to try to win uh, in every well, in Italy, in England, in Spain, I don't know. But for the Champions League, Champions League is a strange uh, competition. And for us, it's the first time. I don't know if it uh, will be possible, but uh, for this reason, uh, we want to try to go in the second stage. And uh, if we want to do this, we should win tomorrow. And after, uh, maybe everything can happen because we are a good team, we can improve a lot. But before, we should think uh, only regarding the game for tomorrow. The, the team uh, is in a very good form now. How do you manage to, to avoid an excess of, of self-confidence for this team? Before an important match like that, how do you manage to uh, let the team focus? I think that in this moment, uh, the team is in good form. And you know, every game is difficult. We are playing every three days. This is very hard. And tomorrow, I think that will be so different from the other, the other games. Also because for Naples, it's the last chance. And uh, probably tomorrow will be a very tough game for us. No, but I credo que... And Dali, uh, last week, congratulations for, for the work done with Balotelli. Um, where are you now with this work? What can Balotelli do tomorrow? Um, well, I helped him, but um, he is the one that's really making uh, good progress. Um, he, has, uh, he needs to keep proving what, what he's doing. He needs to find continuity in what, he do, in what he's doing. Also, we must see if he will be playing tomorrow. Quello che sta facendo da tre mesi a questa parte è la vigilia di una partita importante, sicuramente. Any good memories of playing with Maradona? Um, well, it's. Um, yes, of course. I've, I've got a lot of good memories, many, many goals, wins, defeats. Um, I think this is an important eve uh, for both teams for the match tomorrow. But uh, let me send a big hug to, to Diego for, for the loss of his mom. Um, and um, of course, I've, I share a lot of memories, good memories. Uh, and uh, I re we really enjoyed ourselves playing against each other back then. Ci divertivamo, erano partite sempre molto belle. Quindi ricordi, solo ricordi belli del San Paolo. It's a particular year tonight with no fans from Manchester City in, in town in town yet. Is that maybe because what is being published on the um, club website about um, trying and, and avoiding any, any risk or going in certain areas of, of the city? Naples is a beautiful city. Um, and maybe, maybe they will arrive tonight and I can't think that they will not come to Naples for that reason. They got the opportunity to come here watch a beautiful match and see a beautiful seat at the same time. For such an important game, how concerned are you though about the, the threat of trouble and that you would hope in 24 hours time you're still talking about the football and not for masses off the pitch? What would you say to both sets of supporters? I don't know, this I don't know. <laughs> really I don't know, but this is, can happen in every stadium, in every city, in everywhere. Uh, for us, uh, I think that is important that we, we can do uh, uh, tomorrow our job, uh, but I don't think I don't think that can happen something uh, around the stadium. Two questions. First, um, do you think Balotelli is the best play, best Italian player at the moment? And second, will you spend money in the Italian market when the January uh, transfer window will will open again? Uh, maybe maybe on the Rossi. Um, well. Of course, Balotelli is one of the best Italian players. He's, he, he was before. 
Um, now he just needs to find continuity in, in what he's doing. Um, regarding the second uh, question, um, I, I, don't know, I don't think it's it's very difficult at the moment. Um, plus, I think the Rossi will probably stay stay at Roma, and it's a uh, it's a very difficult moment now to buy players. Manzari congratulates the results that you're achieving. They've been achieving in the last in the last months, um, and he's also said it's been January when he said that Manchester City now it, it is very close to uh, Barcelona and Real Madrid in terms of quality. Is, is that true, or you still miss something, maybe a player like Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi, or do you think you already got that kind of player in your team, maybe Balotelli? Um, well, we, 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 got, we got excellent players, uh, we got uh, Balotelli, we got, we got Sergio, uh, we got Silva, we got Jago, um, and I think it's a bit too soon to say um, we've been together, we, we built this team just in the last one year and a half, so, and I think we grow um, too quickly probably, and we still need to improve. Um, so I think we probably at this moment we're closer to, to Napoli. Than, um, than Real Madrid or Barcelona. And I think Napoli's got a great manager, it's got a, it's got a great team as well.